Hello, I'm Loris and welcome to a short review of the new Scalectric Aston Martin DB5 from Goldfinger. This was a pre-order item. I reckon I've been waiting about six months for this little beauty. It's finally arrived, so let's get it out of the box, onto the turntable and see what it looks like. Marvellous. Well, looks pretty good. Um, nice attention to detail. It's got um, wing mirrors and windscreen wipers. It's got the little DB5 logo there, fixed number plates. The paintwork is uh, a little bit ropey in places, I would say. It's a little bit streaky and there's a few like dust flecks in the paint. Am I being too picky? I don't know. So underneath the box it comes with two items. We have our little bad guy here, all ready to be thrown out of the ejector seat. And uh, we have this, which is fantastic. I have no idea what that is. Um, yeah, well. Perhaps somebody can let me know in the comments, somebody who knows more about Skeletric than I do, what this is supposed to be for, because I have no clue. So let's try the gadgets. So the bulletproof shield is activated by the number plate light. Spadink, and just press back down. Sounds like a really good spring, that. And there is one lever on the side for the ejector seat. And our bad guy, I noticed, has a little notch on his backside. And there is a corresponding hole in the seat. So he goes in there. Excuse me while I sort this out. All right, that's located in. And, yeah, pressure on the head locks him down. The um, actual sunroof is just on a bit of a hinge. And then the moment of truth. Oh dear. Okay, let's try that again. Take two. Ah, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's quite satisfactory. No problem whatsoever. There doesn't seem to be any other gadgets. The machine guns and rams seem to be fixed. The number plates are fixed. But uh, let's be fair, I mean, they uh, went to the effort of putting some gadgets in, and for a Skeletric slot car, that's, uh, that's as much as we can ask, isn't it? So, I have the car on my single piece of Skeletric track that I own. I don't actually buy these cars to drive round and round in circles, I just like the cars, so... Um, I collect them, I keep them in their boxes, and I look at them now and again. But I have to have one piece of track just to make sure they work. So I've got this on the spark plug, just setting up my iPad as I speak. You may have noticed that I've uh, utilised the mysterious piece of plastic here just to hold the back wheels off the floor so it doesn't go flying across the room. I'm absolutely certain that's not what it's for. But hey, here goes. Let's apply a bit of throttle, see what happens. Well, that's quite satisfying. Let's get the microphone here a bit closer and uh, hear the noise of the car. Lush. 
Gosh, I think that's suitably meaty for a DB5, don't you? Headlights to the front. Check. Oh, it's coming off his bit of plastic here. Yeah. Tail lights. Not sure if that'll come out on the video or not, but they work. They're there. Good. All good. So, so final thoughts then. Is it worth the purchase? I'd say so. Um, like I said, slightly disappointing here and there on the paintwork, but these things are seldom perfect. They've done a good job, I think, of getting the shape and colour of the car. All the little badges are there, including the ones on the front wings and on the bonnet. Number plates, lights, ejector seat, bulletproof shield. A reasonable representation of the engine sound and I imagine on a full track it probably goes like stink as you'd expect. I prefer to keep mine in pristine condition, thank you very much. So this little beauty will be going back into its protective case and going on the shelf with the others in my uh, Skeletric TV and film collection. So thanks for popping in and watching my short review on the Scalectric DB5 Aston Martin from Goldfinger. And I hope you have a great day. Oh, and uh, someone please let me know in the comments what that little bit of plastic is for. Someone's got to know.